Hey everyone, ocean conservation and marine life expert Jacqueline Friedlander here and today we are in Albany, Georgia at the Flint River Aquarium. They have a brand new cuttlefish exhibit we're going to check out, a really neat touch tank, a big giant snapping turtle and later I'm going to be swimming with these guys. So let's check it out and see what we find. We found the cuttlefish tank. They're hard to find because they're using active camouflage but there are six of them in there. In ancient times, humans used to collect cuttlefish ink and use it for writing. If you want to know more fun facts about cuttlefish, click on the video. Hey, Big Al. So I'm just chilling here with this alligator snapping turtle. He's coming up to say hi, which is pretty cool. So these guys can get to be up to 150 pounds and can live for over 150 years. Unfortunately, they are about to be listed as federally endangered because People used to trap them and eat them. And the problem with doing that is that these guys don't reproduce until they're pretty old. So they have a low reproduction rate and they are being hunted by humans. Usually these guys just sort of sit on the bottom and chill where they are. And when they open their mouth, they have a little piece that kind of looks like a worm. And it's a lure that attracts fish and food directly into their mouth, which is pretty cool. Bye, Mr. Al. We have a lot more to see. We found the touch tank. So there is a lot of cool stuff in here. These are horseshoe crabs. They have blue blood. <gasps> there is a teeny tiny sea cucumber in the very corner over there. Do you remember the giant one we saw in the Bahamas? That's a wee little one. Here's a shrimp and there's a hermit crab. These are anemone, so sea anemone are interesting because they have the same toxins as sea jellies, but it's not strong enough to penetrate human skin, so that's why they feel sticky as they're trying to sting you. Let's go see what else we can find. So we're back at the Blue Hole Tank, and this is Ben Scott. He is the general curator of the Flint River Aquarium. So Ben, what can you tell us about the aquarium? What is your favorite thing? Why do you work here? Just give us the whole rundown. Well, one of my favorite reasons to work here is because I am an avid scuba diver and I love being in the water and this is our Blue Hole exhibit and it is 175,000 gallons. And we have to dive this very often and I just love being in the water so this is one of my favorite exhibits right here. And this is actually simulating a spring. This is like how we have radium springs here in Albany. Most guests have never been underwater before and they just see the spring from the surface but this allows them to see what's actually in the spring itself. I see a gulf sturgeon in there and some turtles and cats. Fish. What can you tell me about the fish that I'm about to swim with? Well, the fish in here are very special. A lot of these fish, some of the striped bass that we have in here, I have a small school of them that kind of school together in here. We've actually raised them up from fish this size. We actually got them from DNR, Department of Natural Resources, and we actually raised them in our hatchery. And once they get too big for our hatchery area, they go to different exhibits, but once they get so large, we actually place them in here. And what about the turtles? I know a lot of sea turtles are shy. The turtles that are in here, they're also shy as well. Uh, a lot of times they will get out of the way when divers are in here. You can find some up in the crevices and up near the top. This is always a highlight exhibit, but we also have an alligator alcove where guests can come in and see alligators, and they can get up close to them, up against the acrylic, and the gators will be right there, but it's a very safe environment. Plus, we also have an albino alligator up there as well and he's a very unique specimen that we've had since he was a little baby probably about like this and he's actually not a small gator anymore he's actually much larger there's only like a hundred of those in the world or something right a exactly their numbers are growing but you would not see them out in the wild because they could not survive because of their albinoism the sun would bake them and they have very bad eyesight so they cannot you know get food so they just don't you just don't see them out in the wild I think I'm supposed to do the dive show, you right? Are. So you're gonna help me suit up? Yes, we are. Come on, let's do it. All right. Being the fish feeding diver at an aquarium is something I have always wanted to do. When I was a child visiting aquariums, I would stand with my nose pressed against the glass and wish I was in the water feeding the fish. Today, that dream became real for me. It was a little bit of a swim from the entry point to the viewing glass. On the way, I saw a turtle and a spotted gar. I swam through a long straightaway and then just around the corner I saw the sturgeon and all of the children watching through the glass. They got really excited when I came into view so I gave them high fives through the glass.
Then it was time to feed the fish, so I swam up to the ledge and opened the bag. The sturgeon was funny. He was swimming around me while I was waving to the kids and he whacked me in the head. How many people can say they've been hit in the head with a fish? Some of the fish were hungrier than others, but my favorite part of the dive was interacting with the kiddos. That was so much fun, you guys. Hopefully we inspired at least one of those kids to become a scuba diver. After the dive, I headed to the Imagination Theater to do a presentation. The day I visited the Flint River Aquarium, they were having their annual Water Wings and Wildlife event. While I was presenting about conservation and ocean predators inside the theater, outside there was a butterfly experience, bird feeder building, reptile education, and other fun activities. What a fantastic day at the Flint River Aquarium. If you are ever in the Albany, Georgia area, I highly recommend a visit. You can go to www.flintriveraquarium.com to find out more information. I will see you next Friends with Fins Friday. Thanks for watching. That's fun. That was fun, wasn't it? Yeah, those kids really are into it. <laughs> so cute. Did you see that kid that was scared? No. When you first, when you first came down, he like ran away. Oh, he like thought it was the coolest thing ever and like came back. And that's like, awesome. <laughs> there was a little his boy grandma that, was like, get back. <laughs> <laughs> there was a little boy that had a broken leg and like his sister was pointing at his cast and then finally it was like, <laughs> he just wanted to show me his cast. <laughs> We're good. We're clear, yeah.